greetings blurbs. And here I've got a couple of things that have shown up in the mail from some LGR viewers offering their assistance for some recent projects that came together over on the LGR main channel. And uh, yeah, so if you saw, uh, there were a couple of videos that went up in the not too distant past over on the main channel. One was putting together this Checkmate Amiga 1200 build, and then there was an update video to that where I addressed some of my minor complaints and upgrades and tweaks I wanted to make, but there were still a couple of loose ends. It's just, just a minor thing. So basically, I was looking for a bracket to go around back where the PCI slots were because I added a USB controller to connect the external keyboard. And then in the second update video, I put a Indivision AGA Mark II in there, a flicker fixer, upscaler type of things like a Connect VGA DVI. Cool, right? But the problem was, is around back, both of those ports were just kind of dangling around and I had them working, of course, but they were just kind of shoddily hooked up and I wanted something to do with the bracket. You know, I, I wanted maybe a 3D printed thing or something to have both USB and DVI. And I, you know, a lot of folks were just like, well, why don't you just use some existing things? Like, you know, just get a USB bracket, like a little thing like this. This connects to like a motherboard header and, you know, old an old DVI video card or something like that. And I mean, sure, I've got these. I thought about that, but I just don't want to use two slots. I only need, I mean, I can stick them both in one. I really just need one of these and this in one uh, card slot, like a PCI bracket. And as far as I could tell, that just didn't exist. And some other folks, of course, were saying, oh, you know, just get one of these with a DVI and VGA and stick the USB just sort of in there. But then I'm in the same situation where I'm just, making something happen where it's not really specifically made for it. I wanted something with both of these screw holes because this is the USB thing that I have inside the Amiga. I wanted the screw holes, but I also wanted this. And I don't just want to like rig something up or, or Dremel out like a thing. I, I just, I've tried that before and the results are messy and I don't like, yeah, I, don't want, I, don't I wanted something that looked nice and hopefully purpose built. So. I mentioned that like 3D printing would kind of be cool. Uh, and I think it would be. So that's what this one is right here. This is a 3D printed option. Uh, this was sent in by Toby. So uh, he was very kind to help design this. I just got him some measurements and things. And uh, yeah, the result is in here. Along with a note. So this is the PCI bracket he designed and printed and it's now on Thingiverse. How cool. Uh, so yeah, I went through a few iterations and uh, printed in blue PLA and painted it a bit because, you know, blue would look a little weird. But anyway, uh, thank you very much for doing this. This was awesome. I had a lot of offers for help after that update video. But uh, yeah, Toby delivered. And look at that. So we have a USB thing over here and then a spot for DVI. And this is great. Uh, thanks again to Toby for making this happen and sending this in. But very shortly after, I got another email from Kevin and he offered to do something similar in metal because he apparently has like a metal working shop or a business or something. And so the work kind of continued on top of what Toby was doing and uh, yeah, we used some of those files like that were on Thingiverse that he uploaded and we sort of tweaked it a bit. Here's the PCI brackets, among uh, other things. I mean, the brackets, plural, for one thing. There's multiple in here. Uh, he does sheet metal work, so um, 3D printing would be awesome, but it'd be even more awesome if it was in metal, I think. So the two <laughs> projects sort of combined and I ended up with all these. Uh, I think these right here are like the main ones. So look at that. So we've got USB over here and then DVI over here. So you can see where the evolution really happened. Uh, there were some tweaks made to this metal version. And then there's these extra screw holes here. And you can see on some of these others that there's like some different components or like a, a different back plate. So it's a little thicker, a little heavier. Maybe it's just sturdier or something. But uh, yeah, anyway, it looks great. And so he sent some extras of those and then also just some blank ones. T 
to match. <laughs> so that's, uh, you know. So thank you very much to Toby and Kevin for helping this out and everybody else that offered their help. Like I said, I got a bunch of offers for different folks with just different options, different ideas. And this is what came together over the past several weeks. So yeah, let's stick this in the Amiga. And hopefully I'll have a nice set of IO in the back now with some custom metal plates. Alrighty. So yeah, the USB is just sort of dangling in there and so is the DVI. So let us see if this addresses that. So yeah, this was the PCI bracket I had in there. It's just a you know, standard one from the parts bin. We got this one that matches the look of this one. So that's cool. A very cool touch indeed. Nice. Oh yeah. Perfect fit. <laughs> so that's that one. And now let's just uh, get these right in here. Yeah. So these bits are going to have to come off here. Oh yeah, dude. That should be dead on. <laughs> oh, this is great. <laughs> oh, excellent. Oh, see this, this, oh, this is very satisfying to see all of these little bits come together. I'm going to custom metal case and metal brackets. Ah. And then USB should go here. Yes. Okay. This is going to be exactly what I was hoping for. Thanks again so much to those of you who are helping me out with this project. I really didn't even know where to begin with designing these kind of things. I still want to learn, but you know, and skilled folks who know what they're doing and have like the equipment and resources to help and they're offering the help. Uh, yeah, I'm going to say yes. <laughs> I was like, why is this not fully screwing in? There's like a little, little nut behind these bits there that is moving around, so. Check that out. Vision realized right there. Like seriously, that is exactly what I had in mind. And, uh, Again, y'all helped it make it come together, so this is awesome. And there we go. <laughs> Custom metal I.O. brackets in place on the Checkmate Amiga 1200 build. Ah, this is becoming more one of a kind all the time. I have been having so much fun upgrading this thing, screwing around with it. Man, so really, I still want to get a little cover for this. I need to get the, the part file or something so I can cover that up and make it look a little better because it's still just got electric tape that's weird. And then, you know, maybe a couple fans just because, why not? The holes are there. And then something to cover this up, just a little, a little plug. I've seen some like 3D printed plug bits that go there. Uh, yeah, but I mean, other than like maybe adding an optical drive at some point, which I actually, I do have the parts. Uh, if I do that in the future, perhaps I'll do another little blurb on adding an optical drive because I don't know, seems fun. So I can add my DVI to VGA right here. So use VGA monitors if I want to, or I can use, you know, just more modern ones that have DVI. So USB goes right here so I can get my keyboard connected <laughs> very perfectly easily and look at that i mean that is uh that is much better than what we were working with before in terms of just ports dangling around on the ends of cables so anyway that's all this is uh thanks again to those of you who helped in making this come together i'm glad i didn't have to like you know tear apart some older ones or like rig together something myself because it would not have looked this nice i can guarantee it thanks for watching